All right, Shalom out there. Shalom. Bill with us. I'm just checking the feed. Yeah, we're good. We good? Mm -hmm. All right, Shalom. It's always forever on my phone, though. One more second, Oxalakia. Okay. <clears throat> All right, we got it. We got it pulled up the water. All right, let's get into it. Make sure it's loud so you can hear it. All right, Salakia. Okay, here we go. Real witchcraft out here, and the ISUBK comes against it, man. Yes, we niggas. We all about being niggas. You understand? We all about being righteous niggas. No such thing. Friends wow. with every little gay boy that wants to be. One more time. Real witchcraft out here. And the ISUBK comes against it, man. Yes, we niggas. Damn. Benjamin saying, we niggas. We all about being niggas. You understand? We all about being righteous niggas. No such thing. Friends wow. with every little gay boy that wants to be. Read that out, Proverbs 14 and 7. Come on, this is the book of Proverbs, chapter 14 and verse 7. Go from the presence of a foolish man. When thou perceivest not him, when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. Right. Hey, Shalom out there. Jim and Charlotte back at you with another live lesson. All right. Before we get started, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught us his truth and double salutations to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David, <clears throat> the elect. That's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. Shalom to you, brothers. Shalom. And shalom to the elect. All right. Back at you with another live lesson through the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the Rakak Wadash. All right. The title of this show here, all right, is uh, You Should Know Them by Their Fruits. That that ninja spirit, that nigga spirit, man. And, um, you know, these guys have been saying a lot of madness for a long time. And through the spirit, you know, we just want to keep it cut, you know, straight to the point, you know, cut and dry. Because uh, there's a quote in the world. Where it talks about uh, if someone shows you who they are, you know, believe them. So as you heard the madness in this video, that nigga spirit, man, you know, and the funny thing about it is we're supposed to be coming out of that nigga spirit. We're supposed to be casting off, you know, that old man, you know, saying not pushing it. And that's the very reason why our nation is destroyed as the way we are, you know, and there's a point I want to make too. let me put this up and feel free to speak like, if you got anything. No, I just got to uh, yeah, you bring it out. No, you, yeah, you bring it out. It. Okay, come. Okay, come. Is, um, you want to go ahead? No, you got it. It's uh, Romans 16 and uh, 17. Now uh -huh. I beseech you, brethren, mark them which cause divisions and offenses contrary to the doctrine which ye have learned. Right. And avoid them. Okay. Because this doctrine that we have learned is the truth of the gospel, the, the truth. The doctrine of Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. Mm -hmm. And there were certain attributes and things that the Holy Spirit would be doing in the, the individuals of the hopeful elect that would prove that they were following after the words and teachings of Yahweh Shai. Right. You know, and these individuals are clearly moving contrary to that, you know, to the doctrine. Okay. So, as instructed in that scripture, right, we're to mark them, which is what we're doing, right? And we're avoiding them. You know, we don't want any parts to be involved with these niggas as right. they see themselves. Exactly. And just just following up a lesson we did before, it's just a reminder all to all you sincere believers. Like we said, you better you better watch who you following, man. You better watch who you subscribe to, man, who you take, who you getting counsel from. All right. And, it, and, and this stood out to me, too. You know, this channel is called Hollywood Israelites, you know, because as we've been seeing, a lot of these camps, they're commercial, man. 
You know, these niggas, they're in the world. That nigga shit is in the world. Let me get this scripture here. Hold on. Right? That made me think about that. Uh, bear with me. Right? This is Matthew 13 and 22. Right? This is Matthew 13 and 22. It says, he also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word in the care of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and he becometh unfruitful. And we're going to get into the fact of what the scriptures say. You should know them by their fruits. All right. Going, in, going into what the conduct, how they move, the way they act. We're going to talk about that in a second. But it said in the care of this world, we know and understand that that nigga culture, that nigga spirit is of the world, man. You know, and you see that these guys, they they bring it in the truth. Uh, one of the elder brothers had made a solid point. He said, man, you can't. You can't be a nigga and, and, and be in the truth. You see what I'm saying? It doesn't it doesn't coexist. It doesn't work out that way, man. All right. We were commanded first and foremost to put off the ways of the world, to put off that old man. Can you read this for me out? Okay. Ephesians 4, 20, 20, uh, start at 21 on down. Okay. This is the book of Ephesians chapter 4 and verse 21. If so be that ye have learned that ye have heard him, and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that he put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. The old man. What, what is the old man? The old man is that nigga in the world, that nigga spirit, man. Yep. You know, we were we were commanded to put off concerning the former conversation, who we was in the world before we came into this truth, man. Right. You know, and through the spirit, it shows you every Israelite ain't right, Jake. You know what you had, huh? That's a little bit more. Go ahead. Which is corrupt, which is corrupt according to the deceitful lusts. Yep. Go ahead. Verse 23. And be renewed in the spirit of your mind. Right. You're supposed to be renewed in the spirit of your mind. You know, a new creature in Hamashiach Yahweh Shai. Right? And you really have you really have black Hebrew Israelites in this thing, right? The title, the title is fitting for a lot of these niggas, man. Right? Go ahead, Ock. I got a quick precept. You got it. Romans 12 and 2. And be not conformed to this world. You know? And how are these individuals conforming themselves? By trying to, as Zaquan has said, bring that nigga spirit into the truth, man. You know? Can we have fun? You know? We niggas. Hollywood Israelites. Just, just a bunch of folly, man. Kind of. masked with the understanding of the truth of the scriptures mm -hmm. but hey. be ye trans salaki you were gonna say something no you got it salaki but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that you that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of yahweh bashimi you know mm -hmm. so it's just tying into what we're reading in ephesians the fourth chapter right Right. To renew your mindset, okay? To cast off the ways of the world, right? Because mm -hmm. that nigga spirit, hey, it's the reason why a lot of our people are going to die. That's right. Yeah, the Lord the Lord is going to get rid of all you niggas that, that, that won't cast that energy off, that won't get rid of that spirit. Yep. I mean, we're supposed to be new creatures in Yahweh Shah, man. Not pushing that, that vibration, man. You know, and that's why the brothers were saying as well, you know, and it, it, it's, the spirit has been heavy. It's like when you see this type of behavior, you know, at least it gives you hope that, hey, you may have a fighting chance. We may have a fighting chance in this thing, man. You know, because we don't know if we are of the elect or not. But when we see this type of activity, we see it. We see this type of um, this off shit. You know, it's like, damn, you know, at least hey, <laughs> I got a chance to continue to fight in this thing, man. All right. Because they clearly. As the Lord, as it tells you, Romans, the ninth chapter, you know, they are not all of Israel, which are of Israel, man. Because what is it about? It's about the elect on this side, the Israel of the most high. Right. So you should know them by their fruits. Let's play a little bit of this video. We'll grab more scriptures. You know, we just wanted to bring this out on how the spirit hit us. You know. Pull this up. Man, I heard about them, 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 them
Shit, right, you know, okay, and this okay. is what we're talking about. This is the type of uh, this is the type of bullshit that we're talking about. Like, what the hell was this, you know? And that's why we're telling you, you gotta watch who you're following, Jake. All right, the most high, Yahweh Shema was shy, is making this thing crystal clear. All right? right, crystal clear on who's serving the Lord correctly, righteously, and versus those who not. All right, can you read this for me out first? Uh, John 4 and 1. Come. May I get a quick preset, Bubba Kusha? Yeah, go ahead, brother. You got it. Whatever you got. Come. Romans 13 and 12. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. What is at hand? The, the, the return of Yahweh Shai, right? The day of judgment. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. Mm. Okay? So you have to cast off the world and put on the scriptures, man. And the scriptures detail certain things to do and not to do. This is an instance of what you're not to do, okay? Right. Because I don't even know how you can come together and and and, and think that this is of 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 value to the body. Okay. To to do this type of detestable bullshit when our when we're preparing for an insurrection on our nation, you know. But as we're mm -hmm. gonna read, right, the spirit is making it evident that look. These individuals, they not serving the Lord. First right. John 4 and 1. The head of these <coughs> testing the spirits. Exactly. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. Right. Because of many false prophets are gone out into the world. And the Lord told us, he warned us that in the last days, False prophets would be would be everywhere. All right. Now I want to get this word for try real quick. Strong's G 1381. Dakimadzo. Dakimadzo. For that word try. It says to test, examine, prove, scrutinize. You see that? You're supposed to ex be examining these niggas, man. You should know them by their fruits. You should know them by the what? Their doctrine. All right, their actions, the way they move, the things that they say, mm -hmm. right? To see whether a thing is genuine or not. All right. You have false prophets that are not genuine, that are that are that are leading you astray. All right. That are giving you faulty counsel, man. To see whether a thing is genuine or not, as metals, it says to recognize as genuine after examination. 
to approve deem worthy. So, and that entails what discernment, right? You got it, Doc. Okay. Yep. And if if Bubba Kushar Zuquan, could you start up at sixteen? Con. Right, because the spirit of discernment is is needed more than ever. That's right. You know, in the times and seasons that we're in. When we measure the times diligently within itself, we live in a world for the psyops, false prophets, just so many things to be tossed to and fro if you're not rooted in the spirit, man. That's right. You know? That's, right. That's why it's so important. Now let's start um, Malachi 3, verse 16. Then they that feared the Lord Yahweh spoke, spake often, one to another, and the Lord Yahweh hearkened and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord Yahweh and that thought upon his name. That's right. Okay. And we think about what? Fear. Fear in the Lord, when you look up fear, it goes into reverence, right? If you revere the words of the Lord, it's going to dictate your actions. Why? Because you're going to move according to wisdom, what's pleasing unto the Lord, what's beneficial for you in the long run. Okay, and we see that these niggas ain't moving on that type of time. God. Okay. Again, we you shall know them by their fruits, right? Verse seventeen, and they shall be mine, saith the Lord Yahweh of hosts. In that day, when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them as a man spare of his own son that serveth him. Okay, that's what we fighting for salvation. That's right. Right, and in salvation comes with you amending your ways in this time right now right he's going, only, he's going to only spare the elect he said i will spare them mm -hmm. as a man spare of his own son that serve him and that's the that represents the elect who the lord is going to have mercy upon all right it's yeah. not about all the israel all the israel will not be saved on this side go ahead <clears throat> verse 18 then shall ye return and discern between the righteous and the wicked Mm -hmm. Between him that serveth Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and him that serveth him not. So, you know, that's plain. That's, it's plain. It's plain, but hey, it's, it's 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 scary because these guys are under this strong delusion, as well as their followers, that this type of behavior is actually okay. Right. Right. You know, as the scriptures say, matter of fact, I'll grab it right quick. You got it. But this this behavior is all it's prophecy. You know, you're going to have niggas that's going to bring blame to the ministry. You're going to have, you know, the scriptures always they, they already speak about us being regarded as fools to the world, but they just contribute to it. You see what I'm saying? You have individuals that were set up for that lot, you know, to bring condemnation to the ministry, to have us look like to have us look like fools or whatnot. You know, they just serving out. They just serving their purpose, man. You know, you have some up. Gone. This is uh, Ezekiel 14 and 9. And if the prophet be deceived when he hath spoken a thing, I, the Lord Yahweh, have deceived that prophet and will stretch out my hand upon him and will destroy him from the midst of my people Israel. You know? So these dudes right here on the screen that's bumping this nigga mentality, all eyes on me vibration. <laughs> Like this shit, this shit right here is deceptive deception from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, as the Quran has said. You got people that gotta fulfill their lot in the story as well. God. You know, we we pray that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai preserves us and keeps us to the end, and we be worthy of salvation through the spirit, power, and mercy of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Because these type of guys that you see that's deceiving the masses of our people is said that the Lord is gonna destroy. Mm-hmm. And as the scriptures say, judgment must begin at the house of the Most High. God, God, you can see it, man. All right, you can see it. And uh, the scriptures, you know, Lord told us that, uh, you know, it's what cometh out of out of the mouth of the man, and which is uh, which defiles him. I want to make that point. All right. This is Matthew fifteen and ten, and it reads: It says, and he called to the multitude and said unto them, Hear and understand. Verse eleven. It says, Not that which goeth into the mouth defile a man. But that which cometh out of the mouth, this defile of a man, right? Now I want to touch this word, okay, for the word mouth, real quick. So that Greek word is uh, stoma, 
Still my bear with me. My computer's moving slow. All right, there we go. Strong's G, 4750, Stama. Stama. Right, for that word mouth. The point here, it says, <clears throat> it says, since thoughts of a man's soul find verbal utterance by his mouth, the heart or soul and the mouth are distinguished. So whatever your spirit is, right, who, who you truly are, who your, your spirit is truly is, you know, it's going to be manifest. You know, it's going to come out of his mouth. You know, whatever is your mind is the Lord is going to allow that to come out of your mouth, man. And like we heard, hey, we niggas, we, we righteous niggas. God is a nigga, you know. These men, as, as you see, these men are defiled, man. Right? They're not in the right spirit. Okay? In which we're going to make this point. So let's go to, uh, let me get one more before we go to that Matthew, the seventh chapter. Right? Okay. That's, this is all part of the discernment. You got to be able to see this, Jake. Try the spirits. There's many false prophets that have gone out in the world. You should, you should, have, you should have the discernment to know who's serving the power correctly and who's not. Right? Isaiah 3 and 8, I got this real quick. I'm going to read it. It says, Isaiah, thir uh, Isaiah 3 and 8, it says, For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord, Yehawabah Shemel Shai, to provoke the eyes of his glory. Right? This whole nigga spirit, that black nigga culture that these Jakes try to incorporate in the truth. This is why Jake is destroyed, man. So you're promoting the very, you're promoting the very shit that destroyed us and you're trying to mix it into the truth. You know, it don't work like that, man. You know, you shouldn't put them by their fruits. Let's get that out. Right. So start up. Um, yeah, start at verse uh, 15 and read on down. Bob Kusha. Gone. Matthew chapter 7, verse 15. Beware of false prophets who come disguised as harmless sheep, but are really vicious wolves. All right. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. Right. This is the NLT, Salakia. <laughs> it was already on it. All right. That's cool. Don. Read that again, Salakia. Don. Uh, Matthew 7 and 16. You can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way they act. By the way they act. This The Lord is giving you the, 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 he's giving you the answers here. He's giving you the clues. Yep. You should know them by their fruits. You, hey, you can identify them by their fruit, that is, by the way that they act, their conduct. The doctrine, how they move. Go ahead, Ock. Can you pick grapes from thorn bushes or figs from thistles? Con. Go ahead. A good tree produces good fruit, and a bad tree produces bad fruit. See? Go ahead. A good tree can't produce bad fruit, and a bad tree can't produce good fruit. And as we read earlier in that, uh, what was it, Matthew uh, 15? Right? What did it say, um, Salakia? Matthew, was it Matthew 13? Right? I just want to bring this back. Matthew 13, 22, it says, He also that receives seed among the thorns is he that heareth the word and the cares of this world and the deceitfulness of riches choke the word and becometh unfruitful. See that? And, and a lot of these camps, all right, these, these false camps, they're unfruitful, man. Okay? Because the, the fruit that they're going to gain is what? Is <laughs> niggas, man. Right? We were, we were, uh, we were put out to, uh, to, to, to seek fruit, uh, meat for repentance, man. You know, go ahead. I, I just want to make that point. Salakia, who was we back at uh, Matthew 7? Mm -hmm. Right? Go ahead, read on. Con. Matthew 7 and 19. So every tree that does not produce good fruit is chopped down and thrown into the fire. Mm -hmm. Verse 20. Yes, just as you can identify a tree by its fruit. So you can identify people by their actions. See that? So you can identify people by their actions. You should know them by their fruits, Jake. This is what the Lord was talking about. All right? A true man of the Lord wouldn't be moving in this fashion. They wouldn't be saying some of the things that you've been hearing, man. He's, like we said earlier, these, these guys have been saying a lot of shit for a long time. You can have sex on the Sabbath. All right? You can, uh, uh, the full moon is the new moon. You ain't got to say the name. You don't got to put no reverence to the name. You know, you got guns at camp. You, you in rap videos with shades and fitted caps on. Right? Pushing that nigga vibration. You know? You you basically, they, they don't put no, um, the scripts say they don't put no difference between the world and the truth. I got it. You got it. I'll go ahead. 
this is a uh, Ezekiel, and I start Ezekiel twenty two and twenty six. Come from the brother uh, Kwanawaf. Her priests have violated my law and have profaned mine holy things. They have put no difference between the holy and prof and profane. Neither have they showed difference between the unclean and the clean and have hid their eyes from my Sabbath, and I am profaned among them. Yep. You know? Yep. Because hey, when you see when you see some of these guys, you 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 can tell if they was some rap niggas from the world. You know? They you don't is there's no uh, uh separation with these guys, you know. They're filled with that that nigga that black shit, man. This is what they bring into the faith. They put no difference between the holy and the profane, man. This is why you see the way they move. It's why you see the things that they do on social media. This, as you heard, the nigga shit. You know, are we are we surprised at this type of stuff? No, because hey, for the sake of prophecy, the Lord warned us of these things. You were gonna have men that were gonna move in this fashion, in, in this type of fashion, man. Right. Let's get this too. You had anything else up? Uh, no, not right now. Okay, come on. I'm just gonna just make these points real quick. Like we said, we just getting straight to the point. All right. Some of the commentary on that scripture. Just wanted to read this real fast. All right. So this is from the Bible Hub. Dealing with Matthew 7, uh, 15 through 20. It says, uh, it says, nothing so much prevents men from entering in, from entering the straight gate, and becoming true followers of Yahweh Shai. As the carnal, right? As the carnal, soothing, flattering doctrines of those who oppose the truth. It says this may be known by the drift and effects of their doctrines, right? Once again, you should know them by their fruits. Their doctrines is things that they're pushing. It says some part of their temper and conduct is contrary to the mind of Yahweh Shai, right? That's the point. All right. It says some part of their temper and their conduct is contrary to the mind of Yahweh Shai. All right. Yahweh Shai, if he, he wasn't on no nigga shit. <laughs> he wasn't pushing that nigga vibration, that carnal vibration, man. Right? And the scriptures even say that we have the mind of Yahweh Shai. This ain't the uh this is not the conduct of, of, a, of a man of the Lord, is what we're saying. Yep. It says those opinions come not from the most high that lead to sin. You see, would you you have some mock Salakia? Oh no, no, you got it. Yeah, I thought you were saying something, Salakia. All right, um. So that's the point I wanted to make there, you know. Um, it was another part where it said it also goes back to um, the fruits being the conduct and you having the discernment to see basically who's uh, 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 who's teaching righteously. It was somewhere and I, it must have been on another tab, right? But that's the point. So anyway, let's grab this real quick. All right. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter four. In verse uh, 14, and it reads, it says, Oh, Jerusalem, wash thy heart from wickedness, which is your mind. Going back to what we read in Ephesians, the fourth chapter, verse 21 on down. All right. We got we to gotta put off the old man. All right. Wash thy heart from wickedness, that thou mayest be saved. It says, how long shall thy vain thoughts lodge within thee, man? So we were to cast out that, 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 that darkness, man. All right. The cares of the world, that black nigga spirit, that, that nigga shit, man. How long shall the, thy vain thoughts lodge within thee? Right? And like, so like the brother said, you know, the Lord is going to punish all those that 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 continue to push that um that that spirit, man. That's right. You know, it's time to wash our minds from that shit. We we supposed to be repentant, taking on the new man, right? Matthew 12, read that for me, Matthew 12, and uh exactly words reveal character. That's heavy, man. <laughs> read that started verse 33 matthew 12 and 33 either make the tree good and his fruit good or else make the tree corrupt and his fruit corrupt for the tree is known by his fruit for the tree is known by his fruit man watch who you subscribing to jake watch be careful who you watch that's right <laughs> go ahead Verse 34, O generation of vipers, how can ye, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. Mm -hmm. And this, the, and the, these generation of vipers would be, you know, these wicked scribes and Pharisees back now, these wicked Jews mm -hmm. that were against Yahweh Shah. 
that were against his doctrine, right? Against the truth. Right. Go ahead. And they do it with their actions, you know, as the scriptures have been echoing, you shall know a man by their actions. You know, they may not outright say that they're denouncing Yahweh Shai, but their actions are contrary to the doctrine and what Yahweh Shai would condone. Come Therefore, on. they're doing that. Verse 35, a good man out of the good treasure of the heart bringeth forth good things, and an evil man out of the evil treasure bringeth forth evil things. Right. Let me get this in the NLT. I just want to read that in NLT. Yeah. Just make it, making it plain. <laughs> So read them saying three verses again in the uh, NLT. Gone. Matthew 12 and 33 in the NLT. A tree, is in, a tree is identified by its fruit. If a tree is good, its fruit will be good. If a tree is bad, its fruit will be bad. You broad of snakes. How could evil men like you speak what is good and right? For whatever is in your heart determines what you say. You see that? For whatever is in your heart determines what you say as we read the scripture in Matthew 15 you know is what comes out of the mouth you know what comes out of the mouth of the man is what defiles him all right you are or you basically your mouth is going to utter what you truly have in your spirit who you are right? That's right we niggas we righteous you know madness man god is a nigga this we on some nigga shit right what how does how does that video how does that benefit the body how does that edify man what fruit? What good fruit comes out of that? You see what I'm saying? Go yeah, ahead, and, that, and just to add to you, Zaquan, that that goes into the company that they're keeping, right? Huh. You know, as the scriptures say, you know, not to be unequally yoked with unbelievers, right? That's to say, to mind your company, man. Huh. You know, because like you said, how is how can how can Jake sit there in a group of individuals and come up and say, yeah, you know what we should do? We should make a skit saying that we're niggas. And I don't even want to say the last part that they said about who they serve. But how can you, as a group of individuals, sit there and think that that's something of edification? Because hmm. you was niggas. Because you are what you say. Go right? God. They say, hey, they said they Hollywood Israelites. Right? A lot of these niggas are commercial. All right, commercial niggas, actors, agents. You see what I'm saying? That's ironic. <laughs> see, everything is spiritual. A spiritual man, a spiritual man, judge of all things. So as soon as I saw this, I'm like, yo, these are fucking, these are fucking actors, bro. These are these are niggas, bro. It's, it's all this shit set up, psyops, right? Jake, you got this. This is why you gotta have the discernment, man. Jake is getting hit with all types of bullshit amongst these different camps, man. But you gotta have, you gotta be able to see. Right? Come on, man. You got it. I can finish it out. Done. Matthews chapter 12 and verse 35. A good person produces good things from the treasury of a good heart, good mind. And an evil person produces evil things from the treasury of an evil heart. Exactly. Produces evil things from the treasury of an evil of an evil heart. This is why they get on the camera and they tell you what you could pop your girl, all right, in, in the butt. Right, you can have sex mm -hmm. on the Sabbath. You don't got to give no reverence to the name. We niggas, we serve the nigga God. You heard it. You see what I'm saying? With a true, with a true uh, uh, man of the Lord, utter such things. Absolutely. That's why the scripture. That's why the scripture we read earlier, Proverbs fourteen and seven. It says, "Go from the presence of a foolish man when thou perceivest in him. So like when thou perceivest not in him the lips of knowledge. So you got to get away from that nigga." <laughs> Huh. We niggas, yeah, we know that. We see, right? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm saying, <sighs> right? Finish out, uh, finish out the 37. Not, kind of, sir. Matthew's 12 and uh, 36. And I tell you this: you must give an account on Judgment Day for every idle word you speak. The words you say will either acquit you or condemn you. Right, so these guys, a lot of these jakes, they're gonna have to give an account of every word, everything they said, every whack ass false breakdown they put out there. They're gonna have to give an account of all of this shit, man. Leading Jake astray, just saying all types of madness, wild shit. Right? They're gonna have to give an answer for that. Right? I got one scripture I wanted to read. 
real quick, and that'd be that's pretty much the point, man. All right. I want to get this real fast. This is uh second Ezra's. Bear with me one second. Okay, this is second Ezra's chapter. <clears throat> I want to say it's chapter two. All right, this is second Ezra chapter two. Right? Second Ezra chapter two in verse. I start at verse 34, uh, verse 35, and it reads, Second Ezra uh, chapter 2, verse 35, it says, be ready, be ready to the reward of the kingdom, for the everlasting light shall shine upon you forevermore. It says, flee the shadow of this world, receive, joyness of your, receive the joyness of your glory, I testify my Savior openly. And, and I wanted to read that part where it said, flee the shadow of this world, man, we're supposed to flee the shadow of this world we're supposed to put off this world man we're supposed to put off that black shit all right that black shit is death that nigga shit is death that the the the, the culture is death man right we ain't supposed to be uh, uh embracing the shit pushing it man right so like we said man you know the point is that yeah you, you just watch who you follow me you should know them by their fruits jake simple as that you know you got anything you want to add in there up yeah, no, I was just going to add, you know, that the Lord is is making it readily known, you know, to the body of who these individuals are. God. You know, if you have the discernment, it's easy to see through the madness. God. Right. That's the that's the vital importance of having discernment. Right. It's as we have read in Malachi, the third chapter, what the uh, what the elect will be doing during this time, the remnant. Mm -hmm. Right. Of the nation of israel they would discern between those that serve the most high and that don't right you know so if you lack that discernment pray to you about shimmy outside to gain that discernment you know if you lack in any way man That's because right. these things a lot of our people that follow after these individuals don't forget the book of ezekiel the 33rd chapter right that watchman that gave that false report right he was judged but those that followed after what he had told them were judged as well. That's right. You know, that's right. So this is deadly serious, man. Come on. And it's the same group that told you, you know, you think God, you think God cares if you take an a, a implantable device. Okay. So watch who you following, Jake, man. Hey, it is it's plain Jane. The Lord is making it crystal clear. All right. On who's really serving the Lord, the true prophets of the uh, uh Yahweh Shemel Shah, the true servants, and who's not, Jake. All right. So, hey, you should know them by their fruits, man. And yep. we'll leave it like that, man. So we pray that this lesson was that a fine. Just wanted to put that out there. Quick response. All right. You know, you got niggas that are set up to, to make this thing look bad, to make us look crazy. All right. <laughs> That's right. Hey, Shar Isakar, 144, he says, the new, the new theme song is Real as Niggas by Big and 50 Cent. Straight up. You know? That's these guys, man. Ecclesiastes 5 and 2, be not rash with thy mouth. These guys are clearly rash with their mouth, man. They don't give a fuck what they say. And it's been going on with a lot of these groups. Jake, just get on the internet and say anything, man. But as we just read the scriptures, all right, Yahweh Shema Shai said you're going to be justified and condemning your words. All right, the scriptures even tell us as well to, to watch how you build, man. There's a particular way that was set on us on how to build and how to teach, man. Right? But you got these guys that are about what? Scriptures say that they're ungovernable. They want to do what they want to do. But all that's going to be dealt with in, in due time, man. Right? Sorry. Ecclesiastes 5 and 2, be not rash with thy mouth, and let, not, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before the most high. Come on, man. You got to watch. <laughs> you got to watch how you speak, man, before the Lord. You see what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Don't forget about that one. Right? Let me finish it out. It says, and let not thy heart be hasty to utter anything before the most high, for God is in heaven. And thou art upon earth, therefore let thy words be few, right? So, hey, like they say in the world, if you ain't got anything to say, don't say shit at all. <laughs> Straight up, right? Yeah, remember they said, yeah, Jacob's trouble is gay. There ain't no Jacob's trouble. John the Baptist wasn't in the truth. You see that? We didn't, we didn't hear so much shit. Whose mouths must be stopped, right? Right? Deceiving and hey, give me that real quick before we close out. Let me get that out. Yeah. All right, bear with me. Let me put that in the uh, in the screen. Hold on. 
Hey, you can speak real quick, up. Right? I got it right here. Oh, you got to go ahead, up. This is the book of Titus, chapter 1, and I'll start at verse 10. For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision. Man, unruly. It said unruly and vain talkers, man. You know? They don't have no, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They don't have any, um, I wouldn't say filter, but there's another word I'm looking for, man. They don't really have, um, damn, you know what I'm saying? They don't have that filter. They don't, they, they're not seasoned with salt, man. Right. Right. You know, you just can't get out right. here and just say any fucking thing, man. Right. Go ahead. Huh? Yep. Verse 11. Whose mouths must be stopped. Whose mouths must be stopped. And the Lord's going to mm -hmm. do that. Yep, because a, as the book of Proverbs 18 and 21 tells you, right? Let me grab that right quick. So, Quan, if Go I ahead. may, just, just to add a point. Proverbs 18 and 21 says, death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof, you mm -hmm. know? So, look, these people are literally speaking death when they say these things that are damnable heresies, right? False breakdowns. God. They're speaking out death. Right, the life would be the truth of the scriptures, man, God. to the saving of your soul. You know, and a lot of these people, that's why their mouths have to be stopped because they're trying to lead people off the cliff and kill God. them for their vain gain, notoriety, and whatever fucking bullshit that they that they seek after, man. God. Hey, get um, get Second Timothy three and thirteen for me. And also uh, Job 12 and 16 says we just, you know, it's just the spirit, you know, because this, this is the reason why we tell Jake. I know Elder Manathazabai, many other elders, Elder Yashawamba, many other elders, uh, elders, you know, they go into the fact that all, you got all these Israelites that are waking up and what are they doing? They're watching all these camps. I watch all these camps. I watch everybody. You, why can't we all come together? Why can't we unify? This is the reason why we can't unify with these niggas, man. Don't you don't right. you get it yet? Don't you see that? How the fuck we gonna unify with, 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 with Jake talking like that, man? Right? Jake teaching the shit, these doctrines that these Jake, these Jakes are pushing, man. That's not gonna happen. Go ahead, I. God, I had a little bit more on that Titus left. Go oh, yeah, yeah, Salakia. Uh Titus 1 and 11, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses. Teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. All right. You know, and that's them niggas to a T, man. You know, self explanatory. Come on. Second I Timothy. No, like the brother so said, I, no gravity. He said, no gravity. That's the word, no gravity, man. You know, they ain't got it. You know, you got it. It's a lot. Come on. This is uh, Second Timothy chapter 3 and verse 13. Con. While evildoers and apostors, oh, Salakia, this is NIV, Salakia. You got it. One moment. Thought it was going to pull up the KJV automatically. Second Timothy 3 and 13. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. The scripture said that these guys would wax worse and worse, right? And ever since that little scuffle went down, between IUIC and ISUBK, we it's like th these things have been these guys have been waxing worse and worse, man. The shit that these guys have been saying, the doctrines, the things that they've been doing, all right, it's fucking unbelievable. You know, Jake riding on a horse, right? Jake denouncing the name, right? The, the Passover, the solemn assemblies is in the strip club, they fashion shows. You got speed dating going on. You got marriages and, and all this madness being pushed. It's, it's, it's just so much going on amongst these different groups, right? But that's why we read the scriptures who, whose mouths must be stopped, right? But read that scripture one more time, Mark, and give me Joel 12 and 16. Okay. This is Stock here. 2 no, Timothy 3 and 13. God. But evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse. Deceiving and being deceived. Yep. Deceiving and being deceived because ultimately what is the Lord? Right? Joel 12 and 16. Get that real quick. 
Con, Job 12 and 16, with him is strength and wisdom. The deceived and the deceiver are his. Said, the deceived and the deceiver are, are his. Hey, this is your How About Shemel with Shah's movie, man. That's All right. right? Hey, this that sift. What is he doing? He's using niggas like this to sift out the two thirds. Right? But he has the true prophets, starting with our elders, apostles, and bishops of Great Millstone, that's going to bring in the elect, you know, through the spirit. That's that's going to feed the elect, I should say. Right? right. The Lord said he was going to sift the house of Israel. Right? Beautiful. Real quick. All right. You want to thumb a quarrel 144K, Titus 2 and 7. It says, in all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works. And we haven't been seeing that amongst these other guys. Right. In all things, showing thyself a pattern of good works and doctrine, showing uncorruptness, gravity, sincerity, sound speech. <laughs> right. That cannot be condemned. You see that? And that's why that, that ties back to my point. You got niggas that, that set up to do this type of shit to bring the blame. All right. Like when you got Jake in the world, prime example, you got Jake in the world. You tell him about the truth. <clears throat> Oh, you you one of the brothers that be out there teaching on the streets. You know, Jake hit you up like, hey, I saw one of your people out there on the streets. They was in the all black. <laughs> they was in the purple and gold. We like, nah, we we not associate with them. But that's the thing. See what I'm saying? You got guys that are set up, all right, to 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 for that confusion, all right, to to uh, uh to make the ministry look uh, to look bad, right? But anyway, Titus two and eight, sound speech that cannot be condemned. That he is that is so lucky that he that is of contrary part may be ashamed, having no evil thing to say of you, right? So basically going back to being uh blameless in this thing, man. You know, the water. Con, you know, so I, made much point, I had the word for sound uh pulled up in the strongs. It's strongs G5199. It says metaphorically, teaching which does not deviate from the truth. Right. And then when you look up the word uh, speech, it goes into reason. Right. So these individuals. Right. They're far from reason. Right. And they're far from the truth. They deviated from the path of the way of righteousness, man, the, the truth. Okay. Right. And now they're exalting all this manner of folly and bullshit, which is ultimately doing what? Bringing blame to the ministry. Right. You know, and they're completely deceived. With this right. madness that they're spewing. As Aquan has said, what man of the Lord do you know that would say after the bullshit that these individuals have said and done? Mm -hmm. One more script. I'll grab um Ezekiel 38, a like Ezekiel 37 and verse 8, and that'll be it, man. This is what the Lord meant about not having the breath. Yep. Ezekiel 37 and verse 8. Ezekiel 37 and 8, and when I beheld, lo, the sinews in the flesh came up upon them, and the skin covered them above, but there was no breath in them. Yeah, see? The Lord gave us, the Lord said that the skin covered us, you know, the awakening. We found out we was Israel, right? But the point, it says, but there was no breath in them, right? You got groups out there with, with totally different breakdowns, right? They're not coming in with uh, sound doctrine. They don't really have the breath. See what I'm saying? So there's there once again, there's a separation. You know, so that's what it, that's what it means. You know, th there was no breath in them. But we see that. That's right. They clearly ain't got the breath. They don't have the oil. The spirit of the Lord ain't really supping with them, man. That's how you know. Okay. So, yeah, man, that's pretty much the point, man. We'll leave it right there, man. That's you know, we just wanted to bring this out. All right, you should know them by their fruits, that nigga spirit, man. All right, we we we've come into this thing, okay, to cast off that old man, that old nigga, man. Not to, to not to break embrace it. Right? There was nothing edifying about that video. It was nothing edifying about both those videos, actually, man. Right? We not niggas, man. The Lord ain't coming back to save niggas. He's coming back to save Hebrew Hebrew Israelites. That's right. Okay. That's who he's coming to redeem and the elect at that, right? So, hey, pray that this uh, lesson was edifying. We're going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahasham. 
Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who taught us his truth, and who are the true leaders of Israel today. Double right. citations to all you Akim out there laboring in the house of David, the elect, that's pushing his word with all truth, righteousness, and sincerity. A shalom to you, brothers, and shalom to the elect. Shalom. shalom. shalom.